Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked 2022 is set to go live at 12 a.m. KST, on February 10, and will undoubtedly be one of the most highly watched tech unveilings of the year thanks to the almost certain reveal of the new S22 smartphone lineup. Despite it being an unveiling and all, most of the specs for Samsung's upcoming flagships have already been leaked online, with one of the more hotly anticipated devices being the S22 Ultra, a top-of-the-line powerhouse of a smartphone that promises to be the convergence of the very best of the S and Note series, the latter which skipped a yearly release in 2021. Leaked images of the new S22 devices. Image. Sam Mobile. Below are some of the things you can expect from the event, and those of you thinking of buying a new device right now might want to pay attention to the details before putting yourself in line to pre-order any of the new devices the Korean tech giant unveils tomorrow. Galaxy S22 and S22. The gadget most people will be eyeing is none other than the base Galaxy S22, and thanks to numerous leaks, we pretty much know what to expect barring a final twist in the tail. Based on images floating around, the Galaxy S22 and its bigger S22 sibling should arrive as more of an evolution of last year's S21 models in terms of looks. Both are expected to come with the same triple camera placement as last year's models, although the display sizes should come in at a slightly reduced 6.1. S22, and 6.7, S22 inches respectively. Both should feature AMOLED screens in 1080x2340 resolution, and can be expected to boast 120Hz refresh rates. Of course, both should come with hole punch. Cameras at the top following in the footsteps of Samsung's general design language. The Galaxy S22 should look something like this. Image. HWP. On the camera side of things, each model will probably have a three-camera setup at the rear featuring a 50MP main shooter, a 12MP ultra-wide lens, and a 10MP telephoto lens offering up to 3x optical zoom, while the front camera is reported to be a 10MP selfie shooter. In terms of the other internals, both the S22 and S22 should contain either an Exynos 2200 processor or the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset depending on which region you get the device. With current benchmarks still unavailable for Samsung's in-house Exynos chip, the difference in performance between the chipsets are currently still a question mark, although the bigger picture should be clearer once the devices officially launch. RAM and storage options are expected to be at the same start point as last year, which should come in the form of 8GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage for base models, although we'll have to wait and see just how much Samsung will push things at the top end. The S22 should come with a 3700mAh battery with 25W charging support, while the S22 should come with a larger 4, 5000 mAh with quicker 45W charging. Galaxy S22 Ultra The Galaxy S22 Ultra is set to be the headline grabber of the event, even if its status as an extremely high-end device will price it out of most people's. In no uncertain terms, the S22 Ultra will prove to be something pretty new for the Galaxy S lineup at least, considering how it's emerging of the top ends from both the famous Galaxy S and Note lineups, the latter which has seemingly been discontinued in favor of streamlining everything into one series. Leaked image of the S22 Ultra image, Sam Mobile. Based on image leaks, the S22 Ultra should appear significantly different from the S22 and S22 devices, with a more squared-off design akin to the Note series and coming with curved edges on either side of the 6.8-inch display. The device should also continue the Note tradition of coming with and accommodating an S Pen stylus, which comes with its own slew of features such as being a remote control button for the camera. The display will be a bump up from its smaller siblings, with the curved edge a mold display featuring a resolution of 1440 by 3080 pixels and a 120Hz refresh rate. The rear camera setup should have a feature-packed four lenses, including a 108MP main lens, a 12MP ultra-wide lens, 
a 10MP telephoto camera with up to 3x optical zoom, and a 10MP periscope camera with up to 10x optical zoom. The front camera is said to be a 40MP shooter, which should be plenty for those eyeing a device that can take great selfies. Internally, the S22 Ultra will come with the same chipsets as the S22 and S22, which will either be Samsung's Exynos 2200 or a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 depending on which region you buy your device in. Apparently, memory and storage will be pushed to 16GB of RAM and up to 1TB of internal storage at the very top end, while the battery will be rated at 5000 mAh with support for 45W fast charging. Galaxy Tab 8 Series. Samsung's event should also see refreshes to its tab line of tablet devices, with the Tab S8 and Tab S8 reportedly also coming with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, 8GB of RAM, and up to 256GB of storage. The smaller Tab S8 device is rumored to have an 11-inch LCD display, while the bigger Tab S8 will have a 12.7-inch, some claim 12.4-inch, OLED display. Both coming with 120Hz refresh rates. Updates to the Galaxy Tab S series are also expected. Image. Talk Android. There will also reportedly be a supersized Tab S8 Ultra version of the device that comes with a 14.6-inch AMOLED screen, dual front-facing cameras, and up to a massive 16 gigabytes of RAM. Some rumors have even said that the device will come with a feature that allows the Galaxy S22 Ultra to be used as a separate complementary tool when drawing with the S Pen stylus, although none of this can be taken for gospel until the reveal. How to watch. If you're hoping to catch Galaxy Unpacked 2022 live, there are several ways you can tune into the event happening February 10, 2022 at 12 a.m. KST. To watch live streams of the event, you can hit up the Samsung website, Samsung's official YouTube channel, or even experience the event on the Metaverse via Samsung 837X a virtual space on the Decentraland platform where you can watch the event and then virtually see and explore the devices in an NFT fill. Experience Center, click here to see how to tune in. Read more tech stories. Filipinos are the most NFT crazy out of 20 different countries, survey shows. Man sells NFT of a trash can for a whopping US$250,000. Twitter's dislike button test goes global. Cover image sourced from NDTV and Samsung.